Uncle Sam. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to talk Uncle Sam. So if you don't know what that means, I'm talking about taxes. Um, as investors, um, there is tax implications with what we do um, uh, investing. So before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So I am not a professional uh, tax guy. I'm not claiming to be one. Um, I'm simply sharing you, with you guys my experience and what I'm doing uh, as an investor, as a trader, uh, to secure my taxes. I want to put that out there, make that very clear. So um, don't take this, uh, just go and execute. Take it, uh, just go do some research before you execute. And if you have no idea about taxes, definitely talk to you, to a tax professional before you make any mistakes and blaming on me. I'm just telling you my opinion. So. Um, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about it. So as investors, when you invest, there is two types of investments that you go into. You have short-term investment, which means that you buy and sell stocks um, within the space of a year. And you have long-term investments, which means that you buy stocks and hold them over a period of a year. And the, the reason why I'm, I'm mentioning those two is because there's separate tax implications for those two. So in this case, if you are investing in buying and selling stocks, uh, let's say within a period of a year, which is short-term investment, and then the way you are going to be taxed is just going to be a regular income tax. So they're going to just consider that income. So I'm going to use a hypothetical example here. So if you are, uh, let's say, a 25% tax bracket and you day trade, uh, you, buy, you buy a stock on Monday and sell it on Monday and make profit or buy it on Monday and hold it for six months and sell it and make profit or you buy it on Monday and sell it on Friday and make profit. All those movements, as long as you don't hold it for over a year, that's considered uh, you know, short-term trading. And in that case, you would be taxed at your exact tax bracket. So just take that money, whatever money you make. Again, like I said, if your tax bracket is, say, 25%, and know that they're going to tax you at that particular rate. But again, we, we have a progressive tax system here in the United States. So uh, if you have a day job that you make, say, $100,000, and then you have, or let's say, $50,000 in profit from day trading, um, they're going to combine that. So your income is going to be one hundred. And fifty thousand dollars, and your tax bracket is going to move uh, because you make so much money. So that's just something. Uh, but if you hold that, if you buy an asset and hold it for, let's say, over a period of a year, you buy it on January first and sell it on January second the next year. At that point, that is that would be taxed as capital gains, which is relatively uh, lower tax uh, than your um, short investment. So in that case, uh, capital tax gain will probably be something like 15%. Um, it depends again on your, your combined income, but usually you'll get somewhere between 12 and 20%, not as high as um, your short-term investments once you make profit. So um, then the other thing that I want you to be aware of is the fact that if you trade more than 30 hours a week, or if you are a professional trader, Here's what I want you to do with the IRS. You can get what I call a professional trader uh, designation. So that way they will know exactly who you are. Um, they hear the implications. Um, will you just do regular trading and make profit and just write it off as income? Um, what you do is you can write a maximum of $3,000 off um, as, as losses. So if you don't have that professional trading designation, you can only write $3,000 off in losses. But if you are designated as a professional day trader, and then you can write everything, you can write pretty much whatever it is. But in that case, they're considering that you're trading um, as a full-time professional, that is your job. And then if you get to that stage, I mean, I would, my recommendation would be just register an LSC and operate that as a full-time business. So your computers and everything that you buy would be uh, under your business. And at that point, you know, you can write everything off um, again. But the only, the only thing is at that cap of 3000 dollars that you get when you are not a professional trader that now extends to um you know unlimited amount so you can write pretty much anything so that's uh, just uh, the implications again for tax so quick recap here guys so if you are just trading and making profit and you're not a professional trader know that you can write a maximum of three thousand dollars of losses in your account 
um, but if you are a professional trader and then you can write unlimited uh, and again if you think that you're trading more than 30 hours a week my recommendation is that start an LLC and run it as a business again so you can write off everything you know where you, you where you do your trading your space in your room the computers that you buy um, meetings that you have uh, if you buy any software uh, like scanners and everything your subscriptions that you use to keep track of trading all that stuff you can absolutely write them off so that is the tax implication again for just simple people that are just investing and make a little bit of profit um, know that that's just going to be added to your income and it's going to be taxed as you know your income tax and that's about it there's no other um, implications associated with that so and that's what i'm doing so uh, if you want to be taxed more so as a professional then you have to designate yourself as a professional day trader and get that title and then you can pretty much write every Everything that you lost um, in in your account. So that is uh, my take. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think about this? Did you think that taxes for investors are a lot complicated, or you think it's a little bit simple now that we we've talked about it? Let me know in the comment section again. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. And if you're looking to get started with investing, we both currently running a promotion where they give you two free stocks uh, when you, you open an account and deposit a hundred dollars uh, to get you started. I mean, two, not one, two free stocks. So I'll put the links in the description below. You can definitely go check them out. And as always, guys, always take profit and stay motivated.